Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia. And welcome to the updated room tour. It's been quite a while since I've done a proper room tour. I did one for Christmas, but that didn't really count. The last time I actually did a room tour was July of 2022. It is now January of 2024. And quite a bit has changed in my room. So I think it's time that I showed you. Let's just start at my door where you enter my room. My Taylor Swift All Too Well poster and my Lizzie McAlpine five seconds flat kind of like, I don't know what to call it, movie poster. These were everywhere in 2020 and I really like the look of it. So that's on my wall surrounded by all the Heartstopper leaves. I actually made these leaves myself. Don't know if you can tell, but you can literally see the Sharpie bleeding through on the back of it. So apologies, you can't really buy them anywhere. Then I've just got my two bags kind of just hanging on my doorknob because I just find it easy to put there and grab when I'm leaving my room. If anyone's wondering, this one's from Kmart and this one I got from TK Maxx. Then above my door and kind of going all the way around my room, I have my vines. I got the green vines, so these ones off of Amazon. These autumn ones from my $2 shop, but you can also find these on Amazon. And the autumn leaves are actually quite a new addition to my room. If you didn't know, I love autumn. Like I live for autumn. It's my favorite season ever. And I felt like my room wasn't warm and cozy enough and I wanted more autumnal vibes in my room. So I bought these leaves and they're just perfect. I love them so much. Then we have the good old light switch, you know, the ugly overhead light that I don't use. And then this is my big poster wall. So then moving across, this is my big poster wall. I've got a lot of little photo booth photos as well. I took this with my friend Aisha in the city the other day. I got my Yeji poster from the Itzy Born To Be album, along with the other little inclusions in it. Then I've got some more Heartstopper leaves and this little postcard of Hain. That's how she pronounces her name in interviews, so that's how I pronounce it, but I know a lot of people pronounce it differently. From my New Jeans album and this little doodle that I did in like 2020, that's crazy. But I've still got it on my wall. This five seconds of summer poster is not actually a poster. I got this like recyclable bag when I bought merch at their concert and this is what was printed on it. So I decided to cut it out and make it a poster. I think it's cute. My Alec Benjamin, the uncommentary world to a poster, which is signed. I love it. And then I've got a Last of Us poster, the House of Hollow poster, and a Hamilton poster, which is kind of the same vibe as this one because it was also just on a merch bag that I got and I cut it out. We've got some more photo booth photos of my school friends from school formal, which is sad because I've graduated now. I've got some thank you notes, old movie tickets as well. There used to be a pin here, but it fell down and I cannot find it. So I need to find something new to put here. I also love to put paint swatches on my wall. I think they're so cute and they just add something different to the wall, some variety when you're trying to make like a messy collage wall. Same with like little ripped up pieces of book pages. Like they're so random. And I've got this little bag of dyed baby breath flowers, which I got ages ago and I've still got them. I think they're so pretty. Baby breath is one of my favorite flowers. A little butterfly. And then I've got some quotes and different pages just stuck on my wall, as well as these um, keyboard letters that I stole from my art storeroom last year. Number eight is my lucky number and A is obviously my initial. This is another poster that I just printed at Officeworks because I needed another poster to fill up my wall. My rule fourth wall poster that I got at his pop-up shop when he released his album. Another Last of Us poster. My Mayor Band poster, which is also signed. I love it. A bunch of random pieces of paper, postcards, letters that I've collected over the years, like thank you cards. This is a flyer for an art exhibition. Same with this one. This, what is this actually? Is this? That's, that's just a piece of paper that came in a package I got, I think. Some drawings, just random stuff on the wall. I like to fill it up quite a bit. You know, I'm a bit of a maximalist. I like the look of it. Then we have my bookshelf and my bedside table. So on my bookshelf, I've got a couple of my vinyls that don't fit on my wall over there. We'll get to it. And some little candles that I got in my advent calendar this year along with this little fake plant, this geode. Actually, I don't know what it is, I, I got it. My Itzy Born To Me album, Slay. And then I've got all my books going all the way down there and all the books in my book cart. That also doubles as my bedside table, I love this. And then I just kind of use this for storage, so I store a bunch of like cords and stuff under there, like chargers. And then I have my very pretty rose candle holder, it's adorable, I thrifted this. And another little fake plant, I think this one's from Target. 
I've got a few of these, but I think it's from Target. I got this glass bottle from Kmart that I use as another candle holder, except the candle's obviously out. But it was just such a cheap and inexpensive way to make a really cute candle holder. And then this, this here is my favorite candle. It's from Glass House, so it is a bit pricey, but it's the pink milk candle and it smells, oh, it smells amazing. It's my favorite thing ever. And then I just have my Apple Watch sitting on my charging plate, which isn't plugged in at the moment actually, my glasses. Now the bookcase is the Scandi bookcase from Kmart. I don't think they sell it anymore because I got it quite a few years ago. It was in my last room tour, but if you're Australian and you look on Facebook Marketplace, you're sure to find these. As well as looking in store, rarely you might find it on clearance. And then the little book cart is from Ikea. And so is the top. This is just a chopping board. Now, if we look in the corner here, I have a book stack with like this little plant on top, which actually lights up. Hold up. Boom. It lights up, it's cute, it's pretty. That I got on sale at like Bed Bath & Table. Probably like four or five years ago now after Christmas. But I've just got a bunch of my books that I've either read or are just decoration books or other books that I don't know where to put. <laughs> Holding up that little plant. It's just a way that I can store my books because I don't have enough room. Then we have the main character of the room, my bed. This bedding that I've currently got on my bed now is from Adair's. It is so comfy and so cozy. It's perfect for autumn and winter because it keeps you so warm. Then I have two throw blankets. This one, the like lighter one is from Spotlight and this one is from Kmart. I've got this pillow on my bed that I actually bought today from TK Maxx and this pink pillow over here is from Kmart. Now these two bigger cushions, pillows, whatever you want to call them, I made myself so you can't buy them unfortunately. My cousin gave me this fabric and I decided to make them into pillows. I think they're adorable. I love them so much because they're so unique and they're mine. I made them. Like if you look really close, you can see where I finished the stitching. It's not great, but don't look too close. And then I have two European pillows at the very back, which the covers for them are from Kmart. I got them on clearance for like six bucks. And recently I've been in the headspace that the more pillows the better. Like my bed just looks so much more comfortable with the more pillows on it. I love it. And my actual bed frame that has the two drawers underneath is the mom bed frame from Ikea. I absolutely love that it gives me that little bit of extra storage. Now behind my bed, this actually only got put in like two days ago and I was so excited. I've had this vision for ages. If you watched my room makeover video, I was talking about it there, but it's finally happened and my vision has come to life. I have this shelf, which one of my family friends actually made from scratch. So it's custom, it fits this space uniquely. And then I have my record player set up on it. It's currently got Give Me A Minute by Lizzie McAlpine in there. That's the record player it is for anyone wondering. And then behind it in the corner, I've got this corner light that actually goes all the way down where all my cords go, which is from Kmart. It's so cool, I love it. It just adds something different to my corner. Like it just, it lights up my bed. I think it's so cool. And then on the wall behind there, I have Oh, there's, there's a vine on you, sorry. My rule free time poster, which I got at his free time world tour concert. Such a good concert. <laughs> and I've got some more photo booth photos going down my wall and this little art print that, that I bought off one of my classmates a couple years ago. It's so cool. And then I've got this other poster, which I stole from my job when I used to work there. When I used to work at a bookstore, they had them in the back and it was just gonna go on the bin. So. I decided to take it home and put it on my wall because I thought it was very fitting for my room. All the way back here, we've got some old drawings, some book page butterflies, some more heart stopper leaves, a little paper crane. Oh yeah, I've also got my Alexa <laughs> just sitting here with my little Minecraft toucan on top of it. Coming around the other side, I've got like this Julia Michaels kind of movie poster vibe thing again. It's kind of the same as my Lizzie McAlpine one over there, but I've got part one and part two of Inner Monologue by Julia Michaels. Another art exhibition flyer, a random book page. This is tucked in behind this shelf now, but it was just ripped out of a random art book that my grandma gave me that was gonna go in the bin. So I decided to use one of the pages for a print. I have a little embroidery hoop with some punch needling in it. Again, with the paint swatches, I love them. I also have this adorable note that my friend Liv gave me on Valentine's Day, which I've just kept because I love her so much. Another kind of DIY wall piece, which is just a brown craft paper envelope with kiss marks on it and put on to some old book pages. 
for a long time, I didn't have a job, I didn't have money, so when it came to decorating my room, I tried to DIY as much stuff as I possibly can. So if you see random book pages, paint swatches, drawings, things like that, it's all stuff that I made myself for free to decorate my room. I had to get a little bit creative because I didn't have the money to just go out and buy room decor. Now above my bed is kind of the main feature of my room. My hanging vines, it draws your attention as soon as you walk in here. I think it's so like mystical and magical. It makes me feel like I'm in a forest. I love them. And I get asked all the time how I hang them up. Can you see the pin in there? The pin goes through the vine and then into the roof, into the plaster of my roof which leaves a teeny tiny little hole, but it holds my vines so well. And that's literally how I've hung up all my vines in my room. And I've also got some glow in the dark stars that I put up ages ago and they haven't come down, but I love them. Anyways, back to the vine thing. I get asked all the time, Alicia, how do you hang the vines in your room? Like when I use tape, they all just fall down. With tape, not only do they fall down, they rip the paint off your walls, they rip the paint off your roof. It's not good. You can use little like command hooks, but I've also found that the command hooks often just rip the paint off your wall too. So I found using little sewing pins and just sticking them into the plaster of the wall or the ceiling, although it leaves a tiny little hole, that tiny little hole is so much easier to patch up than having to repaint the entire roof because I've accidentally like ripped all the paint off. Now moving on to this corner of my room. I love this corner of my room, it's so, so pretty to me. On this wall here, I have my two Olivia Rodrigo vinyls, as well as some postcards that I got in my new jeans album. I decided to display them instead of just having them sit in that basket over there, the bag, whatever you want to call it. I have my note from Converse when they sent me my Valentine's Day sneakers. I was so excited. I love Converse so much, so that was like a dream come true. I used to paint vinyl records all the time. It was like a little small business I had. And I painted this one and it never sold. So I kept it for myself. Again, it fits the vibe of my room. So it's hanging on my wall along with some singles that I had laying around from when I used to paint records. I would th go to the thrift store and like thrift hundreds of these records at a time for so cheap. And they're already like scratched and ruined most of the time. So it's just making art out of something that would otherwise go to landfill. This is actually a box. It's the top of a box. The bottom got broken, but this is from a box that held these postcards over here. But I decided again to kind of use it as like DIY room decoration. I put so much like rubbish on my wall that would otherwise get thrown in the bin, but I use it as decor. I've got a pair of my old point shoes hanging up just a reminder of ballet and dance because I'm a dancer, I love it so much, although I did quit dance this year. Whoops, sorry, I quit dance last year. So I'm no longer a dancer, unfortunately. I miss it a lot, but it's a reminder of who I am and who I was. Now, moving on to here, let me turn this on. Woo! So I have my little corner shelf that sits on top of my mini fridge. I have a mini fridge in my room because I'm a type one diabetic and there were so many times during the night that I would have a low blood sugar or a hypo and need juice or something of the sorts. And I would hobble downstairs and almost die falling down the stairs. So I got a mini fridge in my room so I can just store my insulin, juice boxes, all my medical stuff that needs to be refrigerated in there. And then on top of it, I have this little corner shelf, which is from Kmart. It was actually in the bathroom section, but it's in my bedroom now and it's cute, so it works. I have these adorable crochet flower lights lining my whole shelf that my friend Mia gave me for my birthday. She handmade them, which they are just so freaking adorable. On the bottom shelf here, I just have all of my perfumes. I've got my Billie Eilish perfume, my Cloud perfume, Sweet Tooth, Calvin Klein Shock, another Ariana Grande perfume, and just like this little jar of gold flakes. I actually don't know why that's there. Along with my favorite cookie candle that I got at Christmas time from Kmart. They don't sell it at the moment. On the next shelf up, this used to just be like my new jeans shelf, but it's become kind of like perfume as well. I don't know. I don't know where to put this. I guess I could, I could move. No, I like them up there. I changed my mind. I like these up here. So I have my Sol de Janeiro body mist. These two scents are just so good. I love them. They're so yummy. And my little travel perfumes that are normally in my handbag, but I've been changing out my handbag. So they're just sitting here at the moment with my OMG slash Ditto album. 
and my new jeans get up album and some more body mist and my little mushroom he's just a little mushroom guy i got him for christmas from my mom from a little like mystery box thing and he is just so adorable i love him i forgot i have another one i have my little cat sitting on top of my speaker my, my minecraft cat on my top shelf oh i've just noticed that my prints moved that's usually perfectly in frame but it's it's fallen i'm gonna have to fix that after the video but I have my little Minecraft llama. All of my tiaras because I love tiaras. I don't know what it is about them. I just, I love them. This gorgeous drawing that my friend Lily did of me for Christmas. But again, it's fallen from its frame. That's really annoying. I'm gonna have to fix that. My big chunk of rose quartz. It hasn't really done much for me, but anyways. And my little Minecraft chest that I got when I was like six. I've also got a couple of like stone necklaces hanging on my wall and some flowers and stuff tucked behind this picture to make this corner look more floral. These little flowers are from a $2 shop that I got way back. <laughs> now moving on to this wall. I have some of my vinyls hung up here too. Those ones don't fit. So I've just got my blue toned ones hanging at the moment. So I have Renee Wrapped Snow Angel, my signed, my signed, rule fourth wall vinyl my maya analysis paralysis ep phoebe bridges and taylor swift and then i have this little cd that i drew on years ago again diy decor and i got these at his concert that i went to a couple of weeks ago they are the prettiest things ever in my opinion this is one of the best merchandise purchases i have ever made they were 20 dollars. it came with 20 postcards they are beautiful. They represent each song on his album. They make great wall decor. Let me just say that. Because to buy the poster at his show was $60. I got 20 of these for $20. And they're bigger than the poster when put on the wall. I love them. Here, I'll give you a close up of like all the little drawings. I have a feeling this one might be a misprint because none of the other ones have black in them. But it's okay. I love them nonetheless. See, they're just, they're so pretty. I love them. And we have another poster that I printed at Officeworks. Again, it cost me like $2 to print. My ticket for Gracie, as well as some little wristbands from different music events I went to because I just keep them for memories. And my little new jeans postcard that I've just stuck up here with blue tack. Then up the very top, I have my vision board, which I made a few videos ago. And my signed VIP lanyard from Rules concert that I went to last year. And again, we have more ballet shoes. These ones are just flats, but again, reminding me of who I was, my childhood, my love for dance. All right, now we have my windowsill, which has this like roller blind, but it's really ugly. Not gonna lie, it came with the house, but I prefer the look of these curtains. So I bought this tension rod from Spotlight and these curtains from Kmart, and I put the tension rod underneath my windowsill and hung these curtains and they just they look so pretty they just add so much to my room so i've got those hanging either side of my window all right then on my little like i don't know what to call these windy knobs that open my window i have two headbands hanging this one's a floral headband that i got when i was like seven and this one i got from ishka which i don't think exists anymore this is a little uh, golden butterfly. They were part of my Christmas decor, but it matched the butterfly vibes, obviously. And a little bag of lavender. I also have this really pretty dried flower bouquet that I got for my birthday and I've just hung it. I think it looks pretty. A lot of people would throw it out, but I've kept it. <laughs> then along my windowsill, I have a bunch of different knickknacks. I've got some fake plants. This one, again, is from Target, I believe. This one's from Ikea, same with this one over here. And the little tins, the little flower pots are also from Ikea. I've got some of my crystals, another one of the candles that I got with my advent calendar. And this again is the same jar that I got from Kmart that I use for my candles. This one's just an old wine bottle though. And it's got some fake flowers that I got from the op shop. These are crochet flowers that my friend Abby made me for my birthday. I love her so much. Of course, I have my YouTube play button on display. This was like a dream come true, so I've got to make sure that everyone can see it. Along with more crystals and candles. Again, 
more crystals, more candles, more fake plants. The flowers are from the op shop. These ones I actually made and I was very proud of them. I think they're so adorable. Then I guess because I'm standing here and I just remembered, I have this rug that's half tucked under my bed. It's just cool and fuzzy and I like to sit on it when I do my makeup. It feels nice. Moving along from my window though, I have my desk slash PC set up. So first I have my PC, which I am very, very grateful for because I didn't have to pay a cent for it. And it's actually like reasonably good. My cousin was just getting rid of it. So I decided to take it. I also have my sunset lamp sitting on top. It's not plugged in at the moment because it kept flashing for some reason, but my sunset lamp sits there so that it projects onto my bed at night. And then I have my cat's bed, Cosmo's bed which he sleeps in sometimes. He'll sleep in it when I'm sitting at my computer, so that's why it's there. And I've also got my little, my bin under there. Then on my desk, I have my desk pad. I think that's what it's called. I was gonna say mouse pad, but it's not a mouse pad. I think it's just a desk pad in this really pretty pink color. It's from Logi, Logitech. And then this cloud wrist rest because my wrist can get really, really sore when I'm sitting here for a long time editing or gaming or doing whatever so i've got that and i've got my little my keyboard my mini huntsman keyboard i really wish i got this in white but i didn't so i'm thinking of getting white keycaps to like kind of tie it in a bit better but i don't know yet i got this from amazon though i forgot to say that the the wrist rest which is super comfortable and it's like memory foam is from amazon then I've got like a candle under there that I don't use. It just sits under there for storage purposes. And my monitor screen. It's a Samsung 32 inch curved screen. I think it's great because I can also use it as a TV because it's on this little arm that can swing out to sit like here so that I can use it as a TV when I'm in bed. Got my headphones, my Fafine microphone, some little fidget toys and my mouse it's a wireless mouse which i know a lot of people don't like but i love this mouse the battery lasts forever this is a little coffee coaster rest that i that i put my cups of tea on when i sit at my desk along with two of my favorite candles that i got from a little small business they smell so good i had the big one last year and she sold out of the bigger ones this year so i had to get mini versions which is fine i'm not complaining and then i've got my macbook which is just sitting there for the moment my actual desk, I have no idea where it's from because I got it on Facebook Marketplace. And these bits here were actually black. You can tell because the, the paint is chipping a little bit. But I painted it white so it would fit in with my room a lot better. I love that it's got these little storage nooks underneath. I've also got my chair. It's white fake leather. It's also extremely dirty because I've had it for about five years. And it's losing all its padding. If I wanted to, I could make it a massage chair because it has all the massage stuff in it, but I, I haven't plugged it in, so it's not a massage chair. Above my desk, I have this little pegboard, which I bought recently. I've wanted one of these for years, and I finally invested in one, and it was the best decision I've ever made because I had all of my, like, pans, sticky notes, plants, photos, whatever, just sitting across here, and it was so cluttered, and it just wasn't very functional. So now I have all my pens and sticky notes up in this little basket along with like sharpeners, erasers, USBs, etc. My signed album of rule, a little fake plant, and I can hang like my glasses or keys or whatever I need up here and it's just great. I love it how it looks as well. I have another postcard from my new jeans album. The rest are over there because they're like horizontal, but this one was vertical so I thought it was cute here with the heartstopper leaves on each side kind of like surrounding it but I'm really in love with my desk setup now that it's all like complete and finished and then of course across this entire wall I have mirrors because that is my wardrobe as you can see it's just got my clothes in there it's not very interesting got some jumpers up the top I have my set of mom drawers which hold like underwear and stuff so I'm not gonna go in there I don't want you to look at my underwear and then this is kind of a mess because I haven't sorted it out yet I only got this a couple weeks ago so I need to figure out this part but yeah that's my wardrobe and then we are back at the start so that is my entire room for you guys I tried to tell you where everything was from but I know for sure that I've missed some things so if you're curious about where anything is from please let me know down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer you also that is a little secret like nook 
in there, but we're not going in there today because I've recently got a kitten and that's his room. So it's a mess. There's like kitty litter everywhere and I couldn't be bothered cleaning it today. So yeah, that is my room tour, my updated room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I genuinely really, really adore my space. It's my safe space. It's where I feel the most comfortable in the world. It's very much an expression of who I am. Like all of my interests are combined and celebrated in my room. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. As always, any video suggestions or things you'd like to see from me, please let me know down in the comments. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!